Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of City Bus Manager. I do hope you're all doing well and I hope you're having a wonderful day whenever you are watching this. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. This is actually my second attempt at recording this because the first time I made the classic content creator error. I didn't press the record button. Anywho, I've made sure I've pressed it this time and we are going to start a, a new game. And I found somewhere really cool called Haxby. I have no idea where it is. We're going to go there, and that's where we're going to start. And our company name will be the Beaver Group. And we will be better than the Go Ahead Group, of course. And we are going to be a village, and it will be on expert difficulty. So, yes. If you are new around here, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you do enjoy this, consider subscribing for plenty of other content. Now, the first thing we need to actually do is find somewhere for our depot. Now, if I can find a place I had it in the first attempt, I will actually stick it there because it was quite a convenient spot. Um, I think... Hmm. It wasn't up there. It, I can't remember where it was. It was somewhere pretty nice. It was out the way. It wasn't on a main road. It was like a, a little industrial area or something. Um, yeah, I really can't remember where it was, which is a bit of an annoyance because I... Uh, hang on. Yes, I can. It's right here. <laughs> it is literally there. That is where we'll place our depot. Perfect. So the first thing we need to do is set up a service center. Now, I personally like to set them up in a specific way just because I'm funny like that, you see. So what I like to do is set them up like this, then rotate it around, and we'll, oh, we'll put it there for now. I know it's annoying and it'll probably trigger my OCD, but hey-ho, it is what it is. Um, and we'll put a wall in between there for privacy reasons, and we will put a wall across there. So that is all nicely sealed off, and we have four desks for people to get serviced at. So now what we need to do is get rid of that and we need to put some chairs down. So I think we'll go with just some standard chairs and we'll rotate that because I don't like it facing that way. We'll put three there and we'll go three the other side as well. So that's all nice and sorted. Now, yes, I will be extending the service center at some point because that really is triggering my OCD. Tell you what, we're going to do it now just to sort that out. We'll put that down there. There we go. Problem solved. Right. Now, all we need to do is move those chairs because they are now in the wrong position. So we'll move you there, move you there, and you there. Excellent. So obviously, they will need a door to get into there because they aren't going to magically just find their way. Now, we'll use a tinted door for privacy reasons and just to make it look nice I'm going to put two otherwise it looks a bit odd so now that we've got that sorted we need to put a corridor down now the way that the game works is you can only place lockers in corridors which I find is a bit odd I do know that you can actually also place them in a garage which is even more strange because I don't know why you would place a locker in a garage if it's got all your personal belongings in it but there we are it is what it is so there's the corridor and I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the office directly on the back here. And we're going to go for, oh, no, we'll just go six by seven and then we'll fill in that other bit here because I don't like that. There we go. Perfect. So that's all sorted. We can now put a door down. Oh, it's off centered. Oh, I really don't bother. Right. We'll put that there. We now need to put some standing desks in for our researchers and... I'm thinking that's facing this way, isn't it? So we'll put, I'll tell you what, we'll be nice to them. We'll put them down the back there. So we've got four at the back. And we'll add a few more windows just so they can actually see out of it. Can I? Oh, you have to place these one by one, don't you? Okay, right. That will do for them. There we are. So now they've got some nice windows there. And we'll also put some nice armchairs down for our staff members because we like to treat them good here at the Beaver Group. There we are. We'll put five there. And we'll put five there. Excellent. Now it wants a kitchen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the kitchen next to the office. And we're going to go 8 by 8 again. No, that's 7 by 8 beaver. Get it right. Okay. There's that done. Now we just need to minimize that. We will go to corridor. We'll extend the corridor down here. And then we need to put a door. And this one could just be a normal door because it's not visible to any customers that are at the service center. So that's done. Now we need to put some fridges. 
Obviously, if we only have one, that's going to be a problem because that will start delaying shifts because our bus drivers will be waiting to use the fridge. And they're kind of lazy here. In this game, they just stand at the fridge and munch what they want and walk off. They don't take what they want and then go to a table and sit down or anything like that. So we do need to bear that in mind. So we'll give them four fridges and we'll put four vending machines at the back there as well. And now I don't know we don't have to technically do it, but I am going to do it. I'm going to put a sink down there. Then we're going to put some kitchen counters down. And we could put a nice little table down there at the end just to uh, give them somewhere to put the stuff, I guess. And uh, we'll put some chairs down. Now, for some reason, it only allows us to put the cheap chairs in the kitchen. So I guess that will have to do for that. Now we need to do our bathroom. And that is going to be 7 by 8 again. And we'll pull the corridor across, so that's fine. Once again, we don't need a tinted door because this isn't visible to any of the customers in the service center. So that's all good. Now we need to just place some toilets. Now a little tip. Um, they don't have any sense of privacy in this game. They just leave the door open and they don't, like, you know, they don't really care. They'll just put it out there for everyone to see. So I actually learned a little trick off of... Um, for someone else you can actually put walls out here like that and we'll go over the fourth one just to make sure there we go and then we go across like this and then if we go in here and we put tinted doors providing the things are long enough they won't actually leave the doors open so they will be able to uh yeah have privacy when they're in the bathroom so we're going to put four cubicles down like that and we need to put them facing that way there we go um, a mirror would actually be nice in here, like to stick on the wall at the back there, but there isn't one as far as I know. So we're going to go there, we're going to stick a couple of sinks down, we'll go with three. There we are, perfect. That's all done. So now we've got our little building area sorted out here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go street. And we're going to drag, no, we can't drag the street. We have to place it one by one, which is very annoying. Some items you can drag and place multiple of. Others you have to place individually. Anywho, that's that all done. So now we have a street going from one end of the depot to the other. So they can drive in one way and out the other, which is good. We will now go back to street and we're going to place some small bus parking spaces down here. Don't know why it won't let us place medium, but there we are. We'll have four of those. That's five, but anyway, it will be fine. We're also going to place some medium ones down here because I would actually like to get some electro liner buses if we can afford them. So we'll go one, two, three there as well. Now we just need to buy two buses. Question is, what is unlocked? Now that Matrocity is actually a Matrocity. It is an absolutely horrendous bus and you can't even use it because for some reason it doesn't charge properly. Um, so what have we got here? We've got an Enviro MMC. We've got, I'm going to go for something like this, 9.7 meter, and we'll offer them 8,500. They are happy with that. There we go. And what else have we got? Okay, so it's just that. It says we need to buy two. Now, the problem is I don't really want a dual door because even though the game says it's still got exactly the same capacity as one of these, probably. Yeah. I don't like them. I just don't like dual doors for some reason. Um, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to pause there. I know it says two buses, but we're going to actually cheat the game a little bit because I don't want to buy a dual door. I want to buy the single door 9.7 meter Enviro 200 MMC. So what is next is we need to build, if we go to street, we need to build a bus wash, which can be there. We then need to build a... Where is it? That's going to be under street again. It's going to be a lifting platform. We need one of those. We'll place that right next to the bus wash. Then on the back of that, we all need to put a warehouse. So we need to make that big enough. So we'll go 13 by 7. We'll throw a door in there and we'll put a load of package shelves along the back here. Just rotate them around and then we'll go like that. There we are. And we may end up putting some more here because I am going to be buying quite a few spare parts so we can get some buses up and running we'll put one there and one there there we go that should be more than enough for what we need now um is there any more mmcs available is what i want to know uh we've got the 8.9 i guess they're not bad 
what, what I am going to do is straight away we're going to get on and research this E bus. It's 10k and it'll unlock, hopefully, it'll be the um, Electroliner BEV. So, that's that done. Um, I'll tell you what, just to satisfy the game, we will buy an 8.9 meter. But firstly, we need to give this a license plate or number plate. And this will be ooh, NK. It's a fairly recent bus, so we'll go. NK67 DFL, why not? And that'll be fleet number 1000. There we go. So he needs cleaning, fueling, and cleaning on the outside. So let's go back to our little fleet here. Buy a used bus. Yeah, so we're not touching those metrocities, unfortunately, because they are broken. Um, hmm, got an Optest Solo. That wouldn't be a bad option, although it's in pretty bad condition. So we'll sort these by technical condition just to see what ones are the best. Okay, so that one's not bad. We'll offer him, we'll offer you 6,100 and they've rejected. Wonderful, thank you very much. Okay, what about you? Uh, we'll offer you, oh, that's a jewel door, isn't it? No, I don't want that. Don't want that one. Um, what else we got? We have, hmm, there we go, an 8.9. I'll offer you 8,000 for that one. He's accepted. Cool. Right. Now we have our buses. We can put a ton of lockers here. Now, gladly, the lockers can be just placed all by dragging, which is really helpful. So we'll do that. And we have plenty of lockers. We need to go and hire some staff. So I like to sort by friendliness because the friendlier a driver is, the better your company performs. So we'll hire Mikhail Sobzak. I presume is how you pronounce that, and Guillaume Clomon. Okay, so we've got two drivers, we need a mechanic, so we'll hire you. I'll tell you what, we'll hire two. Uh, we'll hire two researchers, we'll hire two cleaners, and we'll hire one service employee for now. There we go. Right. So now that that's all done, what are we saying? Welcome to Haxby. We are very happy that you'll be taking care of our local traffic from now on to support you. You will receive a subsidy of 228% on all income. That's not really bad at all. You will also receive a discount on all buses, spare parts, buildings, and equipment. Look forward to a good cooperation. Okay. So now we have some employees. We should get some replacement parts. So I'm going to buy five of everything apart from the expensive items um, purely because that will allow us to fix up some buses that have defects so we're gonna go like that, we'll buy 5 of you, we'll deliver them immediately I know it's 3000 but that does mean that we can buy buses and get them repaired and they don't find the way that's because they don't have a door so if I very kindly help them out and put a tinted door in there, there you go. Are you happy now? Perfect. Cool. So they should start taking all these off. That's going to be cleaned, fueled, and washed. We will do the same for this bus, and that also needs a registration. You will be YX14CS. Oh, that's a D. CDS. There we go. And you can be fleet number 1500. There we go. So we just need to wait for them to put all the boxes of spare parts in and the drones are going to be delivering those for a little bit. But what we can do is that's actually going cool. The e bus research. I was just about to do that, but I've already done it. Um, solo buses we could, but I'd actually rather buy another bus to actually use in our fleet. So what have they added any more yet is the question. No, they haven't. Excellent. Um, I mean, we could always buy some new ones, but they cost a bit more. Um, tell you what, we'll go with we'll go with two brand new buses. That's the Enviro 200 OMC 9.7 meter. We will buy them brand new, and we'll just color that white for now until I get a repaint made. So we've got. You two, you can have that as your parking space and you can go there. And these are brand new, so what we can do is we'll give these YX73ETO. And that'll be a fleet number of... 
you're a bit older. You've got one zero zero zero. We'll give you tell you what one zero zero one, and you will be Y X seventy three. E T P, and you will be one zero zero two, and you can have a lot as your parking space. There we go. You can just stay there, and you can have that one. Perfect. So now we've got that done, we need to make a route, and I'm thinking. So we'll go here. We'll go new route. And we will go with our own bus route for now. So what I'm actually going to do is we're going to start up here in Allotment Gardens. We're going to go over to Haxby. Can we come down here? No. Okay, that wants to go that way. Um, I mean... Yeah, that's going to be a bit of an awkward thing, isn't it? So we'll remove that. We'll just go straight down this road. Why do you want to go down there? Can you not please just go round the roundabout? Thank you. Right. And then we've got the Avenue... We've got Haxby Crossing. We'll put one here, Compton Terrace. We'll put um, we'll put another one there, Joseph Roundtree School. Then we've got New Erswick Rowan Avenue, New Erswick Shops. And where was we going? I want to take it down there, if at all possible. This isn't actually the same as I did last time, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, because I ended the route round here, and then it went like up here, went up this road to Erswick. That doesn't matter. We'll uh, take this one down here. So that is Huntington Road, Alexander Avenue. Uh, we'll take you down here as well. Meadowfields Drive, Yearsley Grove. Then we'll go Anthea Drive. Now we can get over here. We've got the Porter Cabin Factory, Coach Stop, and uh, Monks Park and Ride. And we'll go back to Coach Stop. We'll go back to the Porter Cabin Factory, Anthea Drive. We will stop there, Easley Grove. Put another one there for Middlefield Drive. Go back to Alexander Avenue. Uh, put one up there, Erswick Shops. Rowan Avenue. Then we've got Joseph Roundtree School, Crompton Terrace. Put one there for Haxby Crossing. Uh, we'll go down here for the avenue. Haxby Calf Close. And what I'm actually going to do is we need to get it to turn around. Because yes, you can actually just put it there and the game will just make the bus do a U-turn in the middle of the street. Which is obviously not very realistic. So what I'm going to do is after this, I'm going to send it up here. Then I'm going to put another waypoint Preferably, so you carry on. There we go. We'll go there and there. And then we'll go back to there. Perfect. So now that's doing a little U-turn. And we'll go down here. So that's going to be our first route. And we'll number that 100. And there we go. So that, mm, it's not very popular. So we'll go every half an hour for now. Monday to Friday. The destination can be a lot of my gardens. There we are. Five minute break after the end of the tour. We'll add a new timetable. This one can be for Saturdays. We'll have that as every half an hour. But uh, that will start a bit later. So that will be 7 a.m. until 9 a.m. And I'll be 5 till 10. And we'll add a new timetable, and this will be a Sunday service only. And you will start at 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. every hour. We'll paste that in there, we'll confirm that, we'll activate that now, and then we have generated shifts. So I will send up the two brand new buses, because they are ready to go, these guys aren't. Uh, we'll repair you, and we will repair you as well. There we go. What's, what's wrong? Oh, I don't have any engines. Are you serious? Right, we'll repair what we can on that guy. Not a big problem. Do they have any more buses, is my question. Do they have any used buses? Preferably an Enviro 200MC 9.7 meter, like that one. 12,000, that's a bit pricey. I'll offer you 10 and a half. They've accepted, okay, cool. You can go right there. And your reg will be NK67DFM. There we are. 
And your fleet number will be 1001, I believe. No, nope, that's taken. Okay then, 1003. There we go, perfect. Fuel you up, clean inside and outside, and we will repair everything here. Perfect. Okay, so that's all good. Where's my mechanic? Have they gone home? Excuse me, I need you to come back to work. There we go, one, zero. Right, we'll have one researcher employed through all hours of their night. That way our research will get done. What are these guys moaning about? What? Why are you sat there? There's buses to be repaired, Mr. Kai Baron. And you're just sat there doing nothing. What are you doing? Why are you not fixing buses? They need fixing. Come on. Get to it, man. Nope, he says, I'm not doing anything. Okay, then. Um, why, may I ask? Literally not doing anything. Go get someone to eat. And she's at home. Really? Okay. Well, he doesn't want to do anything. We'll just... Okay, it's on the way to the gas station. Are you going to do something? Um, he's just running up and down, not doing much. Are you a bit lost? Is there something wrong? Um... Oh, we don't have a gas station. That might be why they're all stuck. That would be an issue, wouldn't it now, Beaver? Maybe we need one of those. There we go. Now will you do something? There we go. Now he's going to do something perfect. Excellent. So that's going to be washed, fueled, and repaired. So if I press that button there for a minute, we can get a nice little screenshot of all these guys. Sat there, there we are. Perfect. Okay, so Mr. Kai Mears is should be pre repairing that bus. Why are you? There we go. He is repairing that bus. Perfect. Oh, it's Kai Baron. Sorry, I got your last name wrong. I do apologise. Right, that bus is now ready for service. But, actually, no, it's not, because it doesn't have an engine. I'm going to send you for repair as well. Right, where's my cleaners? Have they gone home? They shouldn't have. Okay, so yeah, after this we should have four operational buses. I'll go ahead and add in a small parking space there, see if we can pick up another 9.7 meter Enviro 200mmc. We've got one there that's in, it's in pretty bad shape. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll offer you 9,000. Oh, they accept it. Okay, that's more reasonable. 11 was a bit steep. Uh, I've got you. Sign you to that one. What do you need? Quite a few things. Okay, there we go. And that will be your parking space, and you can be NK67 DFN. Yes, DFN. There we go. And you'll be fleet number. One zero zero four. Perfect. Alrighty. So we need to assign you and the only two buses that we have operational are those two guys. Which is a good thing that I bought brand new buses. Okay. Perfect. So he's getting washed, he's getting repaired. Hopefully soon we'll have six operational buses, which would be good. How's this route doing? Let's go and have a look here. Um. Okay, it's just starting. Oh, I didn't really need the blooming charging points. I should have said no to those. Yeah, when you create a route now, it gives you the option, and that just cost us another five thousand pounds, which is really annoying. Okay. So 
So you're being repaired, which is good. Where's our mechanic? Fixing the bus. Perfect. We'll wash you on the outside. So is that the other mechanic? That is... No, that's Kai Baron. Okay. Yep, looks like that's going well. He's going to fix up that Enviro 200 8.9 meter. And we have got our first trophy points. Nice. See, I kind of figured that that was going to be the next objective, increasing our network, which isn't a problem as we do actually have the capacity to deal with that, which is good. Alrighty, what we'll do is we'll make sure all these are ready for service. And before we do... Oh, I don't have enough front engine, do I? Nope. So yeah, he's not going to be serviceable, but all the other buses should be. Which isn't a bad thing. Okay, so since this guy is repaired, that should be good. We'll have five out of six operational buses, which isn't bad at all. And our researchers are now finally doing some work. Excellent. So who's working on this bus? That is Paulina Sierkorski. And yes, if you are a Beaver tier member and you do want to get your name as an employee, then just let me know in the comments. And I will add you as an employee. And just let me know whether you want to be a bus driver, cleaner, researcher, mechanic, or a service employee. But yeah, that is going to be that for this first episode of City Bus Manager. I do hope you enjoyed that one, of course. And until the next episode, take care.